Um, we, now in Italy we have a max indicated airspeed of 230 below 10,000 feet. Uh, don't ask me, it must be an Italian thing. Now the way we can impose a restriction uh, for the whole map basically, not just that waypoint, is in the VNAV page. We can d we got the 250 at 10,000 here. We can enter an additional one here, but that's for the climb cruise. And on the descent phase, we can enter an additional speed restriction. Now on the descent, we've got a 240 at 10,000 uh, already in there, but in Italy, we got a 230 at 10,000. So what I'm going to do is 230 at 10,000. And that's a speed restriction there. Except, now if we go back to the legs page, you'll notice that these speeds are now 230 here, here, and 233 at 10,061. Basically, it's predicting that I'm going to be at 233 because I'm still above 10,000, but by the time I get to 10,000, I'm going to be at 230. That's essentially what it's telling us. So, what else do we have on this thing? Well, we have 210 at Ringen. Virtue or Ringen, and uh, Virtue is the other side of this thing. So, at Ringen, uh, or at 20 nautical miles from touchdown on runway 35 left right. So, the way to do that is I'm going to give it a speed restriction of 210 for Ringen. And we're going to do that the same way we did before, which is 210 slash 1000 above. Ringing. Now something interesting is happening here. It's computing what that means. That means we have a Navarro, a 210 at 4,000. Now Navarro is getting pretty close to the runway, as you recall. That's this, this is the last little NDB right here. And it's also on the ILS, which I'll have to select here. Just take a second. Milan. 35 ILS left. You see, by the time we're at Navarra, we're basically on the uh, on the localizer. So, 210 is a little fast to intercept the localizer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to be at 4,000 is the restriction we have for the intercept. So, that's I definitely want it to be at 4,000. But I'm going to say let's go ahead and be at 180 because we're getting close to the runway there. This is another one of those areas where you have to kind of help it out make sure whatever it's doing is prudent and so at 180 there we'll be at 180 at 4000, 180 at 2295 and 180 at touchdown now the reason it's holding 180 is because we haven't actually set up our landing configuration yet Okay, and the way we do that is of course on the computer once again on the index for the net ref we have an approach now for a gross weight of 608.9 if I were to land the aircraft the weight is right now these would be my VRF speed for 157 for 25 degree flap landing and for a 30 degree flap landing 151. So what I'll do is if I take 151 and I put it in here I don't know what it's complaining about. If we go back to the legs page you can see that this speed and this speed are now automatically initialized at 151. What we're going to do en route is once we get close to the uh, arrival airport in Milan, we are going to take our actual gross weight just like we did, only it will be less, and we will recompute the VREF speeds for the landing in Milan, and these will automatically become updated. Something else we'll notice is that we've gone back to 230 there, which is a little strange, because I previously told it something different. I don't know why I did that. So, we'll go ahead and re-enter our 210 at 4000 for Navarro. Here. And we'll enter our 210 at 4000 above for Rigon. And let's say 180 slash that for a CF35L. Now is that reasonable? VREF 180 
as we approach. So we're going to lose 30 knots on the approach. That's okay. And 210 coming in. No problem. So we've now essentially completed our route programming. At the first waypoint, we're still going to be at 161. Uh, we'll, we will have climbed to 2,300 feet. Then we excel to 220. Then to 251, which is, again, a restriction of speed below 10,000. We're going to be at 6 through Adena. That's a restriction here at 6. And low pick, we will obviously have begun our initial ascent to a cruise altitude of 31,316. Now, remember I said, I don't know about that 31,000 thing. This is our VNAV. This tells us what the aircraft is going to do during the three, phase, three phases of flight. And we have a cruise page. It's telling us that our best economy altitude to be at is 37,000. And that's even if we took off right now. That's if we were basically already in the air. So we're going to have burned a little fuel off by the time we get up that high. So this number is actually going to be even higher once we're there. And it's telling us to go ahead and go to 390 or 39,000 feet. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and try a 370 flight level. I'll just enter 370. It knows that in a three-digit altitude I'm actually talking about flight numbers or flight levels. So flight level 370 with an optimal and that looks better. Go back to legs and maybe a few changes here because we're going to be starting our descent, etc. at different points. And that looks good. Now one of the things also uh, that I want to show you is the fix page. Uh, fix is just a way that you can uh, call out pieces of information on the primary flight display, uh, waypoints and markers, etc. that aren't actually part of the primary route. One of those things we're going to do, if you look at the um, chart for Milan, there's a 10 nautical mile ring drawn. Well, let's say, for instance, I want to see that nautical. I want to see that ring because I want to be able to compare where I am to what this plate looks like. This is a ring centered on the MMP VOR. So my fixed position is, or my fixed reference is MMP. Now, now that I've done that, you will see if I go to like if I step to the airport what you will see is that oh I gotta select that with the MMP VOR there we go what I want to show you is how it's going to be called out here okay now one of the things we can do is we can have it draw a line on a certain radio to our bearing that is so let's say I want the um, I don't know 090 it will show us the 090 radio don't want that. Let's say I wanted to show a, a given fixed point. I want it to show 090 at 5 nautical miles. So I'll have 5 nautical mile ring and the fix, and the intersection, of course, is right here. I don't want to do that. What I actually want is a 10 nautical mile ring. So slash 10 just enters a distance. Now I have that 10 nautical mile ring, and now this thing looks just like my approach plate. Showing us what we'll do. It's also predicting an intercept time, 1141 Zulu. Distance to go, 478. And we're going to be at an altitude of 3382, which is about right here. Coming from the initial to here to here, 3382, is that reasonable? Uh, yes, it is, because we're coming in at 4,000. We should be somewhere between here and here, 3382, and that's right about here. So, everything looks good. That makes sense, too, most importantly.